Great. Hi there, Scott again. Uh, I've got a question from a student about uh, finding saddle points or using the saddle point method in game theory. So we've got a, a case where we've got two competing grocery stores, one opened by Ray and that's family operated, and one by Charlie that's part of a national chain. And they've got the current prices set equal to each other, but Charlie's store is part of a national chain, so he's less immune to price changes. He's got the advertising behind, a, behind the national chain, so so he can so he's more resistant to price change or more immune to it. So for each cent higher Charlie's milk is than Ralph's, uh, Charlie loses one percent of the share. And but for Ralph, if Ralph's is one cent higher, then Ralph loses two percent of the market share. So we want to build a matrix based on that and then determine the best choice each can make. Uh, so we can put Ralph and Charlie. Oh, I changed the name to Ralph, but uh, so we've got three choices for each. They can raise, keep the same, or lower their prices. And we can determine what happens in each. So if they both raise the price, that's going to be the same price. But they'll have the same price still, so that's no change. Now, if Ralph raises his, which always keep the same, then Ralph's would be one cent higher, so Ralph would lose two percent. We write the from the perspective of Ralph. That's minus two. Now, if Ralph raises, Charlie lowers, then Ralph's is two cents higher, so that would be he would lose four percent of the market share. Now, if Ralph keeps the same but Charlie raises his then Charlie's would be one cent higher. So Charlie's, Charlie would lose one percent. That means Ralph would gain one percent. Um, now if they both keep the same, then that's no change. Now if Ralph keeps the same, but Charlie lowers his, then Ralph's would be one cent higher. So Ralph would lose two percent. Then if Ralph lowers his and Charlie raises, Charlie's would be two cents higher. So Charlie would lose one percent. That means Ralph gains. No, Charlie loses two percent. That means Ralph gains two percent. Now, if Ralph lowers and Charlie keeps the same, then Ralph's Charlie's would be one cent higher. So Charlie would lose one percent. That means Ralph gains one percent. And then if they're both lower, then that's the same. So so what? Just to review that, if Ralph raises but Charlie stays the same, then Ralph's would be one cent higher, so Ralph would lose two percent. So we mark a minus two in that spot. Now we want to use the saddle point method. Um, we're looking for an entry that's the minimum in its row and maximum in its column. So we can start by looking at the minimums in each row. So we've got minus four here, minus two here, zero here. And then we're looking, so those are each minimums in their row. They happen to be in the same column. So we look for which one is the maximum in its column. So minus 4, that's not the max in the column. Minus 2 and 0 are higher. Minus 2 is not the max, so 0 is the max. And then that means they should both lower their prices uh, following that method. So great, hope that makes sense. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and otherwise, uh, have a good day.